We start with Hampton Pearson, who is in Mineral, Virginia, the epicenter of yesterday's seismic event. Hampton. Michelle, a 5.8 uh, earthquake here in Mineral, Virginia, the epicenter. Uh, behind me, you see the Mineral uh, Town Hall, if you will. Take a look at uh, the roof, a big portion of it missing, bricks falling uh, to the ground. It is one of three buildings here in the immediate uh, town area where there's great concern, and structural engineers will be taking part of the day to do a more thorough inspector, the inspection. The other major concern right here in the immediate area is safety at the nearby north. North Anna nuclear power plant. It lost its electricity, was automatically shut down by Dominion Power, which operates the plant. Backup generators are now running vital safety systems and cooling the two reactor cores on that site. Now, North Anna is one of 12 nuclear power plants in the east that was impacted by the quake. Meanwhile, back in Washington, lots of images from yesterday's quake that will stay in the minds and, uh, of, of a lot of people. First of all, there was that shaky camera focused in on the White House during the minute or less that the quake actually happened. Also, we had reports at the other end of Pennsylvania Avenue, damage uh, to the U.S. Capitol, minor, but inside the U.S. Capitol. Uh, the other concern, one of the major concerns ongoing today, the Washington Monument reports of a crack there. It, of course, is closed to tourists. Uh, across town at the National Cathedral, uh, damage to spires there. The other uh, major scene of just the kind of chaos that in briefly yesterday was inside Union Station, uh, quite a cascade of sound rolling uh, through the station, people running out of the building. Uh, it was shut down basically for about 90 minutes before both Amtrak trains and the Metro subway station uh, resumed service there. Uh, it is the day after, whether it's here in Mineral, Virginia or in Washington, D.C., up and down the East Coast. Uh, again, bottom line, 5.8 quake, no major damage, more rattled nerves than anything else. Uh, Michelle and Tyler. Hampton, thank you very much. On the phone now is Thomas Farrell, CEO of Dominion Resources, which operates that nuclear plant at North Anna. Tom, good to uh, have you with us. Uh, did the plant sustain any physical damage that you're aware of, and when might, under the best circumstance, it get back online? Uh, Tyler, good morning. Uh, the uh, plant itself, the nuclear plant, the generating facilities themselves, suffered no damage. And there when, was some damage in the substation uh, to transformers that had nothing to do with the uh, nuclear reactor. You find those same devices in any kind of a power plant. Uh, they are they're being assessed. They'll be, we'll have to repair uh, some minor parts of those uh, devices. Uh, so the, until that's done, the plant will remain uh, safely shut down. We have off-site power to... Uh, all of the units, so there's uh, all the cooling that needs to be done is um, working properly, and our diesel uh, generators worked yesterday as they were supposed to. So everything there is uh, ship shape, and we will uh, have to assess how long it will take us to fix those transformers. Did any of your other facilities sustain damage? We uh, felt the earthquake at our Surrey nuclear power station, which is down, uh, down river from North Anna, about uh, 60 miles, but not enough to, uh, it wasn't enough of a tremor to trip the reactors. And we do actually have a brand new gas fire turbine that's uh, not right across the James River from North Anna. Uh, the trip, the steam generator tripped offline, but that's back operating now as well. When they feel these machines, feel the vibrations, uh, unnatural vibrations, mm -hmm. they turn themselves off. Where were you and did you feel it? Uh, we felt it all through central Virginia. Uh, I think, though, actually it was uh, felt uh, stronger to, from what everybody I've talked to, it felt stronger in the Washington area than it did in the Richmond area. Very interesting. Tom Farrell, thank you very much for calling in. Good to hear from you.